everybody, Casey here, and welcome to Home Cooking. Today, I'm going to be revisiting a dish that I hate, hate, hated when I was a kid. Black-eyed peas. Yeah, some people call them black-eyed beans. I call them, not going to eat you. Well, my mother tried everything in her power to get me to eat these things. She put them on the plate, I put them in a paper towel, and they be going into the G-file each and every time. Well, I've been reading up on some healthy things to kind of balance out my diet, because like I said, everything in moderation. And I found that black eyed peas are heart healthy, they are good for the digestive system, and you know they can even promote weight loss, and they're filled with calcium. And at my age, I need all the calcium I can get. In any case, I took it to another level. I did a little Hop and John dish with these black eyed peas. And I am going to tell you, it is delicious. Who would have thunk it? Black eyed peas, I love them. In any case, if you wanna know how I do it, you better stay tuned. Grab a bit of this. Okay, we have some olive oil, black pepper, a stick of butter, our Lowry seasoned salt, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, some white pepper, chives, our Splenda Zero, my sweetener of choice, you can use what you like. I have a pound of black eyed peas, my trinity of peppers, onions, and celery, and of course some chopped ham. Now I'm gonna take these peas that I've already picked all the debris out of and I wanna rinse them thoroughly so there's no residue because we're about to do what we call a quick soak. And that's gonna consist of me putting these beans in a pot with three cups of water, just like that. And I'm gonna sit them on my stove and I'm gonna bring it to a rapid boil so I'm gonna turn that heat up on high. I'm gonna cover it up, bring it to a boil, and cook it for two minutes. And when I'm done, I'm gonna sit them off to the side and let them sit for an hour. Now, let's go over to our pot. I have a little bit of bacon grease in my skillet because this ham was left over from another meal, doesn't have a whole lot of fat, and the bacon grease is gonna help enhance the flavor. I'm also gonna add a little bit of olive oil because like I said, I need a little bit more oil in this mixture. Now I'm gonna take my Trinity Girls and I'm gonna drop them in there and gonna saute them too. Now I'm not trying to brown anything, I just want to soften my vegetables. And now I'm adding all those wonderful seasonings we saw earlier. And we're gonna mix them around, put a top on it. I'm gonna bring the heat down so it can kind of simmer through. Like I said, I just want the vegetables to kind of saute or steam through. And this is what you're gonna have once that's happened. So now I am going to add to my base two cups of beef broth. I'm using beef broth because it's savory. It gives a really good flavor with all the other ingredients. And I'm gonna stir that all up real nice. Get it all incorporated in there, yes I am. And I'm gonna bring that heat up again because I want a what? A rapid boil, just like that. And I'm gonna cover it. I'm gonna turn the heat back down and let it simmer while my peas are soaking. And once they're finished soaking, this is what they're gonna look like. They're plumped up, they still have water in them, but that's good because this water is flavored with the bean flavor. And I'm gonna marry that bean flavor with my wonderful base. And I'm gonna put them all together. And they're gonna be happily ever after, oh yeah. Let's get them all stirred up, get everything all incorporated. Just like that, okay. And now I am going to turn my heat up on high again because we're going to get another rapid boil started. And once we get that rapid boil started, it's going to be some good eating. This is what it looks like. We know what a rapid boil looks like. So now we're going to put a top on this and bring it down. And we're gonna simmer these beans for about 35 minutes. We want them to start to get tender, but we don't want them fully tender because we have 
of the ingredients to go into this. So you see the juices are beginning to thicken up a little bit, but not all the way. I'm going to stir it up and I still have to put my butter in there. I'm going to do a half a stick of that butter in there. That's about all I need. And then I'm going to put my Splendor sweetener in there. And like I said, you can put whatever sweetener you want. Stir all that up real nice. Melt that butter in there. Oh, yeah. And now I'm going to add two cups of instant rice. And I'm using instant rice because it's instant. And it soaks up the liquid really well so you can have those beans and that rice incorporated the way Hoppin' John should look. This is not going to cook that much longer. Remember, it's already cooked 35 minutes. I'm going to let that simmer for about 15 minutes. That's going to soak up that juice and it's going to look just like this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The rice is fluffy. The beans are intact, but they are soft. All the flavors incorporated. Let's plate that puppy up. Let me see what we got here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I can't wait to get a little taste, taste of that. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> now that's some good eating. I can't believe that I hated peas when I was a kid. Wow, this is fantastic. If you liked this video, and I know you liked it, you had to. Hit that like button. Don't forget, ring that notification bell so you know when I'm coming back at you. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And until next time, you know what I wish you. A little love, peace, and a whole lot of joy. See you on the flip side. Bye-bye. That's the good day.